She smiles from her face, but hardly from her heart. Her body is full of scars, beautifully stitched to hide the blades, the pain, the frustration that once penetrated her thick skin. She covers her face with thick layers of makeup to protect her swollen eyes, and Somia is her friend. She has learned the subtle art of waking up in the middle of the night, staring at ropes and pills, gaslighters and drugs. Sometimes she wants to die. Yet the fuck is the moon. Be free. Be free. She seldom talks. Even when she says more than a word, you can feel painful pauses and breaks in her voice. The vibration you feel every time you touch her skin tells you there are screams she hides inside. Dark feelings buried on dark alleys of her heart, fifty shades of pain dipped within her soul. Be free. Be free. She once gave her heart away and it came back broken. Her body is a temple that was once defied, used, abandoned, and forsaken. Her soul used to be a free place, but now it wanders to extreme ends. Set on fire, set on fire by people we didn't know how of. Be free, be free. I've seen her. I've seen her walk through the sunset sometimes, searching for an ear to listen, listen even to the things she's scared to say. Behind her scarred body is a beautiful castle waiting to be uncovered. Under her sad mask is a spirit that wants to be free, that wants to dance through the rain, feel no pain. Inside her body are two souls, one that wants to perish, and another that wants to be free. And I write this poem, asking you to be free, be free, go into the world and be free. Vada le monde soit libre. You're just a beautifully caged bluebird singing sad songs. Learn, learn how to stitch yourself piece after piece. Mold yourself part after part. Love yourself floor after floor. Little darling, go into the world and be free. Go into the world and be free. Va dans le monde et sois libre. Be free, be free from your pain, your insecurities, your fears, your scars. Go into the world and be free. Be free.